Good thing you guys can only see my face sitting up here because my floor is a fucking mess. Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Hunter, and today, as the title suggests, we are going to do my February slash March favorites. I actually did film this in March and yesterday, and about four other times apart from that. So this is my like sixth or seventh time filming this video because every time I filmed it, it either my camera stopped working or I lost it on my computer. So if it's on my computer, I don't know where the fuck it is. So <laughs> we're just gonna get started. Um, we're gonna jump right into it. Let's go. Cool. So, first off, I went to Five Below with my friend the other day, and it's a good thing that I went the other day because I wouldn't be able to tell you guys it's one of my favorites. This box was five dollars, and it's so gorgeous. It has an elephant, and it's pretty, and this is where I keep all my makeup now. Not all of it, but like, a big amount, five dollars, for this. So my next product is a foundation, it is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I am in shade Porcelain, they have since redid a lot of the colors, so now anyone that was in shade Porcelain is now natural, but it's the same color, it's just a new name. And it looks like this, beauty guru that shit. And uh, as you might be able to tell, I'm running out, but it's okay because I bought another one. So we're good. So the next thing I want to talk about is a eyeshadow palette. It did come in this gorgeous teal shimmery unicart in which I threw out because, as I said, I filmed this video 50 times. Um, I was really hoping the palette would come out that color, but it came out a shimmery black. <laughs> this is the Makeup Revolution Mermaids Forever palette, and it looks like so. Pretty lit, fam. I mostly go in with this blue and the pink because that's my every go-to look. I don't really do anything under the eye, but like, I'll put the pink in my crease and cover the little blue. Oh, uh, so my next favorite is the City Color Collection Contour Palette. This is the second one. I know they have the first one at Five Below because when I was there I saw it. But if you open it up, it does a little rundown of where you should contour, bronze, and highlight. I don't really use the contour color. I use the bronzing color to contour. And the highlight, I mean, it's a highlight, but it's not really that good. At least on my cheeks. On my finger it looks pretty good, but when I put it on my cheek, it doesn't really do that well. But I do like the palette. It's a pretty good palette. Let's put it back around. So next up is the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. I actually use this all the time when I'm doing my makeup. The only thing about this thing, if you guys haven't tried it, the sprayer is so strong. You have to hold it like so far from your face or else you're just gonna get wet. But I actually do wear this all the time when I do wear my makeup and I also do wear it like sometimes when I'm not even, I'm just going out, I'll do it, and just hydrate my skin. Ooh daddy. So next up is two products, but they're the same thing, are beauty blenders. I have this one, which I got at Marshalls. It was It's not an actual beauty blender, although it might look like one. Um, it was like $4, and I also have a Real Techniques one, which is also like $4. <laughs> so um, these I use this one mainly for like putting powder under the eye and setting it, and this one for like, you know, blending out foundation and concealer and stuff. Of course, they're better when they're damp. These are dry right now, but uh, you do. But they're amazing. So, like, if you don't use a beauty blender, get on it. So, my next favorite is a concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm in shade 15 Fair. This blends out so good with the Elf Foundation, and it gives you really highlights your under eye. I love this shit. And um, I actually thought I was running out at one point, so I bought another one. And um, these last forever because both of them are still like halfway full. And my last favorite is another foundation, honestly. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is shade Porcelain. This is definitely medium to full coverage, just a little bit, it goes a long way. The only downside I have of it, oh, and it also has this little spatula for applying, but it's just so young. The only bad thing about it is the smell. It smells straight up like paint, so it makes me think, well, what the hell is in this stuff making me feel like that? boy. Now for the most part this video has been favorites but I'm thinking every month I'll do one or two products that did not work as well as I wanted them to and for this month I will gonna talk about the Kylie lip. I will disclaim it right now this is not an actual Kylie lip. Um, I got it on AliExpress for like four dollars which I do not recommend. If you're gonna splurge go for the real thing but I ain't paying no thirty dollars for a fucking lipstick. Jesus. Um, it definitely doesn't smell like Kylie stuff. It just smells like chemicals. And um, 
just like her Kai Majesty things. I'm pretty sure if you swirl this around, there's like nothing in there. So, yeah, there's nothing in there. I don't know if you guys can see. So definitely, if you're gonna go for a Kylie lip kit, get the real one. I haven't tried the real ones, but I don't know. So the second thing I don't like is the e.l.f. liquid lip. This is in bold pink. I will say the color is pretty, but when you open it up, it doesn't really come out. The applicator is just like really flat and doesn't really curve with your lip. And it cleans the product off way too much. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see in there, but there's a really tiny like suction hole. And you can't even get it back in because it's so tiny. So that is all I have for you guys today because that is all the favorites I had for the past two months. I promise you April's favorites video will come out in the beginning of May. Um, but until then, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below some of your favorites from the past month or two months or three months, and maybe I'll try them out. And subscribe to my channel because why not? It's not going to change your life that much. It's just going to change your mind. But anyways guys, I will see you guys next time I upload. Peace out.